Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today I'm here to talk to you about sound. Have you ever wondered what is sound? Today I'll explain it to you. Will you join me? Sound is produced when the vibrations of an object travel through a solid, liquid, or gaseous medium until they reach our ears. Sources of sound are objects, things, or materials that vibrate, producing sound. They are two types of sound. Natural, such as thunder, or artificial, which are produced by man-made objects. For example, a musical instrument, such as my guitar. Sound propagates in the shape of waves that travels in a straight line in all directions, and it travels faster in dense mediums. For example, Sound travels 1,125 feet by air and about 4,862 feet by water in one second. Isn't it interesting that sound travels at different speeds depending on the medium it is in? Sounds have three main characteristics that help us differentiate them from each other. These characteristics are loudness, pitch, and timber. I'll let you know more about them in depth. Loudness is energy that is produced by sound waves. If the loudness is high, then the sound will be loud. But if it is low, it will be low. The unit of measurement of loudness is a decibel. A normal conversation takes place at about 35 decibels, while a car horn is about 90 decibels. At 120 decibels and above, sounds can be dangerous to the ear. Some sounds that exceed this level are in an airplane taking off, or using a jackhammer. The second characteristic we'll talk about is pitch which depends on how many vibrations or waves take place in each second. If the number of vibrations, also called frequency, is high, then the sound will be high-pitched. If the number is low, then the sound will be low. Our ear is only capable of hearing sounds between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. Sound frequencies below 20 Hz are too low to be heard, and we call them infrasound. However, if the frequency exceeds 20,000 Hz, we have ultrasound. This can only be heard by some animal species such as dogs or bats. Isn't that amazing? The third characteristic of sound is timber. It depends on its wave shape. And it allows us to distinguish sounds even if they have the same loudness and pitch. Timber. For example, helps us to differentiate the sound between a stringed uh, 
and a wind instrument. Have you ever heard of an echo? An echo is an acoustic phenomenon that occurs when a sound wave hits an obstacle and it is reflected back to us, causing us to hear the sound shortly thereafter, repeatedly. Let's try inside this cave. Echo! See you later, alligator. <laughs> Echoes are so much fun. That's all for today, friends. I'll be rehearsing for a while. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.